Hello and welcome you all. Dear students, this session is MOSFET used as a switch or diode or resistor or current sink and current source. From the exam point of view, we may expect the question like this. Explain how the MOSFET can be used as a switch in VLSI. Same way how the MOSFET can be used as a diode, transistor or current source and current sink. So the questions are maybe very much straightforward. First topic, first part, MOSFET used as a switch. We know that in case of a switch, there are only two conditions, switch is on and switch is off. So we have to make use of this MOSFET as a switch. This is the generalized diagram of a MOSFET. We are well aware of uh, terminologies. This is gate terminal, source terminal and grand, termi grand terminal. VDD is the supply voltage. Uh, which is connected to the drain terminal through register RD. Up they go. This is the diagram of N channel E MOSFET. At the drain terminal, a rectangular pulse is applied. The voltage, maximum voltage of this pulse, this voltage is same as VDD. Now the operation is pretty simple. Let's say they go. Many summarize karke lika operation. If Input voltage, yaha se input voltage diya So input is applied between gate and source. Output is taken from drain and source. That means with respect to, uh, from drain terminal with respect to ground terminal. So if V in is less than VTH, VTH is the threshold voltage. If supply voltage is less than VTH, then MOSFET will be off. We have discussed this in earlier sessions. In order to switch on the MOSFET, the major requirement is supply voltage or I mean input voltage should be greater than VTH. So if V in is less than VTH, then MOSFET is in the off condition and it will act as an open switch. Up they go. Open switch matab diagrammatically aplo aise dikha sakte ho. This is the open switch. So if you want to operate MOSFET in the open switch, it should be operated in the cutoff region. Some already in the case session we discussed ke what are different regions of operations. This diagram me dekho. Ye input voltage ka graph hai. If V in is less than VTH, I am talking about this part. In this case, V in is less than VTH, then output voltage. Dekho. V in is less than VTH, matlab this MOSFET will be off, it will be switched off. Whenever it is switched off, it is acting as open switch. Matlab, it is shown like this. Since it is off, yaha se hum log output voltage le rahe. A MOSFET is not on. So, this current ID will be equal to 0. Iska matlab hai, is point ka voltage. This point voltage will be same as VDD. So, at the output, that is at V out, you are getting VDD. That is shown in the diagram. I am talking about this part. Let us give some name. Say A, B. To part, for part A, B, V in is less than VTH. So MOSFET is off. In that case, output voltage is off. Hai. To pura ye VDD, ye pura voltage yaha pe aajayega. So V out will be VDD. That is this voltage. Ye, this is the condition when MOSFET is switched off. It is acting as an open switch. Second condition, when V is greater than VTH, then the MOSFET will be switched on. Whenever this is switched on, some drain current starts flowing through the circuit because of which there will be some voltage drop across this resistance RD. Now we are measuring V out at this point. So V out will be this current that is ID which is flowing through RD into ID because basic equation of voltage is current into resistance. So this V out is ID into RD on. On means MOSFET is switched on. But in order to switch on the MOSFET, the MOSFET is acting as a closed switch. Matlab diagrammatically hum log aise dikha sakte. This is acting as a closed switch. It should be operated in the ohmic region and output voltage is ID into RD on. <coughs> to is part mein, jase dekho, is part mein humne discuss kiya part AB mein, output voltage will be uh, VDD. Ye suppose point C hai. Part BC, in case of part BC, V in is greater than uh, VTH. This is shown by this high pulse. <coughs> At that time, MOSFET is switched on because of which there will be some voltage drop and this output voltage will be reduced. This output voltage is ID into RD. So this is shown by this point that is ID into RD. Same way the process will be 
कंटिन्यूड दिस इज द डायग्राम फॉर एन चैनल ई मॉस्पेट अब पी चैनल का भी आप लोगों को करना है तो बहुत सिंपल ट्रिक है वी ऑलरेडी लर्न इट पी चैनल का डायग्राम चेंज होगा मतलब यहां पे ड्रेन uh, आएगा यहां पे सोर्स आएगा एंड दिस एरो विल बी इनवर्ड लाइक दिस एरो विल बी इन इनवर्ड डायरेक्शन कंपेयर टू द अर्लियर डायग्राम ये जो डायग्राम है वे फॉर्म्स का ये उल्टा ड्रॉ करेंगे मतलब यहाँ पे जीरो है तो यहाँ पे मैक्सिमम देखा देंगे ये मैक्सिमम है तो यहाँ पे जीरो देखा देंगे लाइक वाइज द डायग्राम विल बी इनवर्टेड मतलब दूसरा पेन यूज करता हूं ये डायग्राम ऐसे होगा लाइक दिस सिमिलरली दिस डायग्राम विल बी इनवर्टेड ये ऐसे होगा सो दिस इज द वे हाउ यू कैन यूज अ मॉस्पेट एज अ स्विच Now there are certain advantages of using MOSFET as a switch. You need your answer need to include these points, advantages as well as applications. First, by adjusting W by L ratio, that is width to length ratio, the parameters of a MOSFET which is operating as a switch can be made more uh, approximate to the ideal parameters. That can that means these parameters can be equivalent to the ideal parameters. Second offset voltage of MOSFET switch is always zero. Third CDS, हम लोगों ने already discuss किया C stands for capacitor, D drain, S source. So capacitance between drain to source will be very very small, which is causing effect on the operation of a MOSFET. Applications, it is used in VLSI for IC designing. I mean, it is acting as a switch then for multiplexing. Then S by H means sample and hold circuit, and in case of a modulation. next part is how can a mosfet be used as a diode so these are uh, two diagrams this is the diagram for n type e mosfet and p type uh, second is for p type e mosfet uh, in which i have shown how this mosfet can be used as a diode we know that in case of a diode there are uh, two junctions p and junction so consider this diagram in this case gate and drain terminal are connected together means this g will be same as drain terminal so there will be only one effective junction that is gate to source junction usually hum logo ko pata hai gate terminal mein uh, jo voltage dete hai that is used to control the drain current lekin is case mein gate voltage ko koi uh, gate terminal ko koi voltage apply nahi karna hai rather gate terminal should be connected to drain so drain and gate is common and there is only one junction uh, gate to source junction which is equivalent to p n junction so in this case uh, the mosfet can be used as a diode same p type e mosfet can be used as a diode dekho diagram similar banana hai har ek case mein agar n type mosfet ka diagram apne draw kiya to p type ke liye drain aur source interchange karna hai gate remains as it is लॉजिक रेमेंस से मतलब यहां पे जैसे गेट और सो ड्रेन कनेक्ट किया था वैसे यहां पे भी गेट और ड्रेन कनेक्ट करना है सो दिस इज द डायग्राम विच शोज हाउ पी टाइप इमोस्पेट कैन बी यूज्ड एज अ डायोड व्हाट आर इट्स एप्लीकेशंस इन मेनी इंटीग्रेटेड सर्किट्स इंस्टेड ऑफ फैब्रिकेटिंग अ सेपरेट डायोड इट इज वेरी ऑलवेज कन्वीनियंट टू यूज मॉस्पेट एज अ डायोड नेक्स्ट पार्ट द क्वेश्चन मे बी लाइक दिस explain how mosfet can be used as active resistor it is also called enhancement load device so this diagram is same as the earlier diagram jo humne abhi abhi discuss kiya how the mosfet can be used as a diode diagram is same sirf maine do uh, voltages mark kiye diagram mein this is voltage between gate and source that is vgs and between drain and source voltage is vds so this is the diagram of n type e mosfet which shows the mosfet can be used as a as an active resistance now in this case since gate and drain terminal are connected together vds that means the voltage between drain to source is same as vgs because drain and gate are same so vds is equals to vgs this is the equation for vds saturation that means the drain to source voltage if the mosfet is operated in the satur saturation region this formula is vgs minus vt where vt is the threshold voltage of course this is the equation whenever you are operating mosfet in the saturation region agar hum log graph plot karenge graph of current that is id drain current versus vds that is voltage between drain and source then graph will be like this it is almost a uh, linear Uh, after some certain values, that means when you are operating it in saturation region. So in this case, 
द मॉस्पेट कैन बी यूज एज एक्टिव रजिस्टर इसके एप्लीकेशन कहा पे देखो In case of amplifiers, we need to always use a load resistance. Load resistance is denoted by R L. Instead of using a separate load resistance, uh, you can use MOSFET, which will work as active resistor, and that will be connected to an amplifier, which will act as R L. Next part, MOSFET can be used as a current sink or current source. Again, the Uh, question may be like this explain how mosfet can be used as a current sink and current source these two words are very important dekho sink matlab the current is going inside the mosfet from some external uh, circuit so this is the diagram of current sink yaha pe dekho output current i out is shown going towards the mosfet whereas current source means uh, in this case the circuit is said to act as a current sink current source means it is giving out the current so in this diagram the current i out is moving away from the mosfet so it is acting as a current source so this is the diagram which represents how mosfet can act as a current source in both the cases yaha pe vgg dikhaya hai vgg is the voltage applied at the gate terminal initially we have to use one voltage divider circuit and adjust a proper value of vgg so by using voltage divider circuit we can adjust the value of gate voltage ab ye jo ye jo graph hai this is the graph when mosfet is acting as a current sink in this graph in the region say 0 to a the graph is like this it is rather exponential it is not constant in this case the mosfet is acting as a current sink so the graph is not uh, constant i mean it is changing Uh, whenever the value of V out is less than V minimum, is axis पे हम लोग V out मतलब output voltage plot कर रहे हैं, इस axis पे in uh, output current plot कर रहे हैं. This is the point A at which the condition is V G G minus V T O, where V T O is zero subtracted by a threshold voltage. In simple language, it is the threshold voltage. तो ये जो point A है, यहाँ पे condition है V G G minus V T O. If V out is greater than or equals to V G G minus V T O, मतलब इस पार्ट पे, इस वाले पार्ट पे, the characteristics of current remains constant with respect to variation of the voltage. मतलब voltage output vary भी हो रहा है, तो current constant रहेगा. So this is the expected graph for which the required condition is V out must be greater than or equals to V G G minus V T O. Next, this is the diagram which shows How MOSFET acts as a current source. This is the corresponding graph. This is exact opposite graph. Hai. <clears throat> In this case, this point again say this is point A. This point A is marked at which the voltage is V G G plus V T H O. If V out is less than or equals to, this is exact opposite hai hai, because this is acting as a current source. If V out is less than or equals to V G G plus V T H O, मतलब इस पॉइंट से पहले ये जीरो, जीरो से इस पॉइंट तक, और यू कैन से द पोर्शन व्हिच इज प्रायर टू पॉइंट ए टिल जीरो, इन दिस केस द कंडीशन इज V out is less than or equals to V G G plus V T H O एंड द ग्राफ ऑलमोस्ट रिमेंस कांस्टेंट this mosfet will generate will produce uh, a constant current whenever it is acting as a constant current source if the condition is v out is less than or equals to v g g plus v t and o so this is the way how the mosfet can be used as a current source or current sinking device then the performance of this uh, circuit that means whenever you are using mosfet as a current source or sink can be improved by making use of these two conditions so first condition is increase small signal output resistance small r0 and second is reduce the value of v minimum with this v minimum value is shown in this diagram so dear students that's it for today's session so thank you thanks a lot for watching this video